Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I got another tutorial video here for you. This is going to be sort of like a part two of my guided bomb tutorial for the Hornet, um, but it's going to be pre-plan mode for the JDAMs. Um, so we got a couple of 2,000 pound JDAMs here. Um, we don't have a targeting pod, sort of just as a proof of concept to show that you don't necessarily need one, uh, but what we will need to do is get the coordinates for our targets. Um, so we'll come over to our F10 map. You can also do this in the mission editor and just save your coordinates, put them in the briefing, something like that if you want to, but this is just going to be, while we're in the missions, we can get the coordinates here. Um, what we will need to do is we're going to have to get the precise lat long coordinates. Um, so you can see those in the top left over here. These are our coordinates we're going to look through. It's probably not going to be that by default. So to cycle through the different formats for coordinates, you want to be doing um, left alt and Y. That's left alt and Yankee. Cycle through the different ones. Um, and so you have MGRS coordinates. We have our other types. But we want to get to this, the precise lat long. So we have our degrees, minutes, seconds, and decimal after that. And what I like to do, you can memorize them or you can do what's probably easier is just to write them down or what I do, which is just take a picture of them with my phone. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right, we got that one and we'll hit this one too. Oh, we'll do this one. Why not? Get that. Take a picture of those coordinates. Go back into our jet. Unpause. Come over to this one. Go to stores. Select our JDAMs. Pre-plan mode, we're already in. E-fuse, you want to set that to instant. Um, we're going to see our timer here is going to count down. It takes about three minutes or so. And it eventually, if this says um, quality, alignment quality 10, now 9, and unstable, eventually that'll get down to 0, 1, and good, which is what we want. But in the meantime, um, we can go here. Release type, you want to set that to manual, so we're in our JDM display now. Mission. You can see we have five possible coordinates. We can put them in and just select them as need be. So we can have alternate coordinates already set up. Um, but And you can see they're crossed out, which means they don't have valid coordinates entered at the moment. Um, what we're going to be doing is we are going to go to our target UFC. We are going to enter our elevation first. And we'll pull up our first coordinates. So elevation is 7 feet, enter that, return by hitting target UFC twice, position, lat, northing, 3035555, enter, you see it resets, now we have to enter a decimal, so 87, enter that, and you can see our coordinate has popped up here. Now we can do longitude, so we have easting, 31, Four zero one zero enter and then our decimal is four zero enter we have our first coordinate set now we can press step select our other JDAM we'll enter our next coordinate so same thing go to here elevation feet seven feet cycle back through position latitude northing three zero three five five seven enter decimal is one zero so we'll enter that longitude easting three one four zero one one enter and our decimal is five zero for that so we have our coordinates for this one um we can return quantity we want to drop both at the same time so we'll select both of our stations and we have, so basically now, we have our coordinates entered for our targets. Um, for each target, each core, each bomb, sorry, has a, um, has a different, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Um, each button, each, sorry, I'm sorry, each bomb has a different coordinate entered for a different target, but we'll drop both at once. So both of our bombs will be released at the same time, and they'll both go to their own targets within a, relatively small area because they still need to both be in LAR but um, so you can also s now see that our alignment quality is zero, 01 good so we're all set for that go back to our HUD and I'm just gonna go take off and I will be right back once we are in the air alright so we're back in the air now I basically just took off turned in the direction we're going I had a waypoint set at the target um, and climbed up to altitude 
Uh, you can see though when I was climbing up that this ring here, uh, which is basically our the max range of the JDM, that kind of triangle that's sort of in the middle here, is our launch acceptable region, our LAR. Um, I've gone into air to ground mode, JDMs are already set up, master arm on. You can see that the JDM is no longer crossed out. When I turn master arm on, it says ready. And now we are in zone. So we can go ahead and drop our two bombs. Both of those are gone. It will just kind of turn out of the way of the target here. Set our all barometric altitude hold on. There we go. And you can see where am I on the map? We got our two JDAMs going. And shortly they will be hitting those targets right there. So we'll just go over here and watch. It's going to be these targets right here that are going to get hit. These little ammo stores. So we'll pretend there's stuff in them. It's not really modeled. But on the map it says that's what they are. We're going to hit them anyway. Just check F10 again and see where they're at. What altitude? About to hit their targets. And there we go. No targeting pod. Both of our JDAMs went hit their targets. I think I messed up something and I may have accidentally um, removed the dropping two at a time, so I had to press the button twice. But oh well, they still did what they had to do. They both went to their own targets. And like I said, don't need a targeting pod for this. This was used to the primary method of dropping JDAMs um, by Navy Hornets in and Marine Hornets um, in the beginning of. Um, Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. So, definitely useful. I got some missions in the works that are using this method. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, it was actually, I've never really dropped JDAMs. I have never dropped JDAMs like this until today, actually. I just learned how to do it, and I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to pass that knowledge on to you. But anyway, if you did find this helpful, informative, entertaining for some reason, um, consider liking, subscribing. It really mean a lot to me. Um, anyway. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.